Welcome to Drexel University Libraries Health Sciences Libraries CINAHL tutorial. In this chapter, we'll be exploring how to put together your various concepts and terms within the CINAHL database. But first, let me illustrate this by using a Venn diagram. Say we have two concepts, concept A, concept B. You can put these items together quite easily. And there are two major commands in CINAHL that will allow you to do this, the AND and the OR operator. An AND will only bring forth the overlap between two sets, this portion of the diagram here. So that will drastically reduce the amount of results you get back, and the article will have to discuss both concepts. If you use an OR, that will return all the items that just talk about concept A, concept B, and the overlap. This can be very helpful when you're putting together two similar terms. Let's move on. One possible use of the OR operator would be in this example. If you're trying to put these two diagnostic tools for x-rays and MRIs together, you could OR together these results and then compare them against another variable. Another example? Possibly you're dealing with two different types of fractures, like a fractured tibia and a fractured femur. You could OR together these two items in order to obtain articles that would deal with both. What about the AND? I think an AND makes much more sense here. We're using an X-ray with a fractured tibia. You'd only get the overlap, that middle section for results. You'd get articles that would discuss the use of X-rays to determine if an individual has a fractured tibia. And here's another example. The use of Botox along with cerebral palsy, which actually helps to control muscle spasticity. An AND in this case would only find articles that mention the use of Botox along with cerebral palsy. An article that just discussed cerebral palsy or a Botox would be thrown away. Let's actually try this in the CINAHL database itself. The CINAHL database makes it quite easy to put your various searches together. It allows you to select your searches through these box towards the left. And please notice the AND and OR commands here. Let's start by putting our similar groupings together. You typically want to begin by dealing with any instance where you'd need to use an OR operator first. In our case, let's select our two populations low birth weight infants and premature infants. I'll check them both off and if I could find an article that discussed either of these populations or both in the same place that would be excellent. So I'm going to click my search with OR button now and the database will combine them into one set. Please pay special attention to the result numbers. You may notice that these result numbers don't add up entirely. And this is actually a very good thing. What will happen here is when these sets are combined, any result that would happen to be duplicative is going to be removed. So that's very helpful. What we should do now is take the set that we created and compare that with our search for massage. At this point, the AND operator will come in handy. Only articles that deal with massage and low birth weight infants or premature infants will be returned. So I'll click that now and we've obtained our result which brings us down to 60 items. This is certainly very manageable. This concludes this chapter. Thank you.